Got you. So Saturday night, how you feel? How you think you did? How you rate yourself? I told um, you five or six though, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I was I was saying it when you was when you was coming down to the gym. I'm like, I was we were saying it. The whole team was saying it. He was like, it ain't gonna pass five or six. But I mean, I knew that. But I mean, a lot of people was was saying, oh, he gonna knock me out, or he gonna be my toughest fight. And, who said just then? I, it was, it, I mean, it was like a few people. It wasn't a lot of people. I, I, and I seen it though. I'm like, I seen it all. People was writing, he's going to be his toughest fight. It ain't going to be easy for him. And this, then, and there. He's going to knock uh, boots out. He's going to stop boots. I'm not, I was like, okay. Yeah, I mean, it was his friends or something. And listen, I, I, I knew what it was going to be. I knew it was going to be hard, but I knew that he would yeah. try to do a little, you know, something the first few rounds. So that's why I said yeah. five or six. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I feel like I could have stopped him in the third round, but, uh, you know, I, my goal was to, you know, to punish him and then get the knockout. So that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of statement do you think you made? I know you wanted to make a statement, so um, now what? <laughs> I'm, I think I made a, a big statement. Uh, I feel like, I mean, I feel like nobody wanted to fight him. And I, as soon as I got the call, I was like, yeah, and – I feel like I, I fought one of the, you know, one of the, the toughest guys that I was out there, and I made a big statement. Everybody saying congrats. <laughs> uh, thank you, y'all. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Aunt said, fave to watch, right? <laughs> so, now, after that fight, what you think's next for you? Um, What's the next direction for you? I mean, I'm top not dogs? sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, of course, I want the top dog. You know, I want the top three, top five guys. Anybody, because I mean, I, of course, I'm not gonna get a, a world title next my next fight, but I mean, whatever fight can you know push me and put me right on in line for the for the you know for a world title. Yeah, so you you like I I think you're moving at a nice pace. You staying patient, so you like the way you're moving so far. I mean, yeah, I, I like the way I'm moving. I mean, there's nothing I can do. You know, I just gotta yeah. you know sit back, be patient. I feel like patience is key, and you know, patience and timing and everything. Absolutely. I like you in Porter. You think that ever could happen? Maybe? Yeah, me, I, mean, I like it too, but uh, I mean, you know. I don't know if he would fight you though because it'll probably take him out of title contention. I know he wants to win another belt, so he may not, but I like that fight for you. Yeah, I like I like all any fight with any top guy. Mikey yeah, Garcia is a good one too. He won't fight you either though, but that one, I like um, Ortiz. Yeah, so, that's all these, if these guys really, you know, want to fight, you, it ain't that hard. And we saying yeah on this side. They already know we going to say yeah. But, but you know what it is. You know it got to make money. It got to make sense to them. You know, boxing is a business. They want to get paid for the ass whooping. So, they got to, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. They got to get paid. So, that's yeah. why they're not trying to really Yeah, I mean, like that. Yeah, at the end of the day, sometimes it ain't always, you know, about the money. You got I feel you. I feel like it's it's about legacy sometimes, and you know, f fighting the best fighters. It's a lot of people on here that want to see you fight Thurman, but I, they got, Thurman don't fight enough for me. You like that fight? Yes. <laughs> he don't yes. fight enough, and I don't see him coming back after two years off and fighting you. You know, he hasn't fought since January twenty nineteen. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean if, I, we, if if you need a dance partner, you know, what? I'm here. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. All they gotta do is call. So when are you looking to be back in there? Um, maybe uh July or August, you know. Okay. Um, just uh you know chill, relax, rest, relax, you know, chill with the fam. Cause you know I don't be really you know spending that much time with them because I be in camp. I just had a two month camp, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna probably just chill with the fam, rest up, you know, have a little fun. Not too <laughs> much fun. I'm gonna still still work out, still train, you know, stay in a little bit of shape and stuff like that. That's about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So going into this fight, was the preparation a little different for him? So your plan was, I know it was to punish him for a few rounds before you stopped him, but preparing for this fight, was it was anything a little different than what you usually do? I mean, everything was all the same. Only thing I did was, you know, I added the underwater treadmill for this kid. How and, was that? Uh, it was, it was, it's great. You know, uh, it, it had me feeling phenomenal. Uh, I, I was, I feel like I was in the best shape of my like career. And everybody was talking about me like not sitting down, but I what people don't know, I've been doing it since the amateurs, and I always did that. And we we've been training, we trained four minute rounds uh, at our gym, and that uh, we've been doing that since I was an amateur too. So there's no need for me to sit down uh, when you're only fighting three minutes. 
So that's yeah. why. I, that's why. I, that's why I always stand up when I'm in the corner and stuff like that. Well, Ali used to stand up too. He's he stand oh. up in the corner. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, he was stand up a lot in the corner. Yeah. It's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I got that from uh from my brother Farah. He uh he used to do that a lot. Nice. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what I like your outfit too. Who made that for you? Uh, thank. You. I appreciate it. Um. My extreme st uh, stitches. That's the name on Instagram. It from Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona, uh, Louis Gonzalez. Uh, uh, that's his name. So, okay. Everybody, everybody be asking me. I be tagging them on Instagram and you know shouting them out. Yeah, they, I uh, fly. I even watch one. I forgot what fight I watched the other day. I'm like, damn. They always make one of your fight outfits. <laughs> yeah, they been, they been making my fight outfits since I uh, turned professional. Uh, yeah, that's all I've been using. I don't use nobody else. So you came out to my guy King X. Yeah. So how how you make that decision? That choice. I mean, I was originally <laughs> gonna come out to uh, to meet, but okay. then I think uh, DMX passed away the day of Friday. my wins. Yep, yeah, Friday. the day of wins. So I was like, what people don't know is DMX is one of my like favorite all time like old school rappers. Him and Fifty Word? Cent. Yeah, nice. only him and Fifty Cent is like they're the only two that I really listen to that's like from back in the day. Yeah, and, uh, that's one of my faves too. Dope. Yeah, but I really, you know, DMX really like one of my favorites. So I was like, it's only right that I, uh, you know, come out to one of his songs. And it took me like like four hours to pick a song. <laughs> I finally, I finally <laughs> picked one. I was like, yeah. I was, so what I was, was the, like, the other choices other than uh, what's my name? What was, what's my about? name? I can feel it in the air. Uh, I mean, I can feel it. Um, there's a whole bunch, bunch of different ones. I was just going through his whole album, all his albums. I was sitting there listening to every single song. And I'm like, nah. Then I'm like, nah. And I was like, right. then I just came down to them too, and then I just picked it. I nice. picked what's my name because it sounded a little better. Yeah. You know, and it was time. You know, it was time for me to make a statement. So, what's my name? Why not? Well, I think you made it. <laughs> I do. I think you made it. So now it's just to wait and see what happens next. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, you know, top five, top three guy, or even somebody. With a big name, uh, I just you know I just want to I rumble. I don't care who it is. So you get this next fight. You think after that, maybe late this year, you'll be uh, fighting for a title. Maybe early next year. Yeah, that's the goal. Uh, I, and I definitely feel like that's that's what's gonna happen. I feel like I'm a you know uh, fight like a top three guy in my next fight or a top five guy, and then that's gonna put me in line, you know, to eventually fight at the end of the year for like a world championship or or the beginning of 2022. Nice. We got uh, Spence and Yugas coming up. You like the winner of that fight? Most definitely. I I said that <laughs> on my uh, <laughs> in my interview. I'm like, I'll take the winner of that. I mean, I'll take the winner of anybody right now. I'm, I'm just hungry, and I, I just want to be great, and I want to fight all the best fighters. Absolutely. I love it. Like I said, I like you and um, Ortiz. I think that's a good for I don't think it's a good fight, but I like the name for you. You know, he's young like you. He's hungry, and I think you're going to stop him. But I, I like that name for you. I like that, and I like Porter. But I really want to see you on Porter. That's the one I want. Yeah, I, I love both both fights. And uh, like I said That's before, I, I said anywhere, anytime. I think Porter, he's a bigger name. He's more money. And it it would be a nice nice way to stop Because he's never been stopped mm -hmm. to, to stop him. So I, I like that name for you. So maybe y'all can make that happen. Reach out to Porter. Porter, you on here? He want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we we I mean we gonna you know we gonna make something happen you know you get one of these guys and we, we, all we can do is you know force it force our hand right now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I was in the gym today and I was saying with you it's like it's kind of remind me a little bit of Pretty Boy you know at the time they they didn't want to fight him because you know he was a savage he, he could fight but the, you know the they wanted to get paid to fight him I don't know if you remember they didn't really start calling him out so he was like really worth the money. No, I mean I mean well, I Pretty Boy wanted them all when he was like younger but they didn't want to fight him. They didn't want to fight him. He wanted Mosley. He wanted he wanted De La Hoya. He wanted all of them. Right. I so, mean, at the end of the day, it's like it's just patience, and Floyd patience, had patience. He, I mean, then he did what he got to do. Yeah. Look, look at him now. Yep. Paid, chilling. Yep. Right. Gennadis. I don't know if Gennadis still fighting. He still fight Adrian Gennadis. I don't know. I don't I'm know. not sure. I think the last, I think his last fight was uh was Danny. When he stopped him. That was the last one. Yeah. Oh, boy, yeah. you a beast! Great work the other night. Yeah, you look, you look great. I yeah, think. I mean, it, you know, it's always room for improvement. You know, get better. And uh, I feel like my next fight, I'm gonna be even better. 
That's what it is. Keep getting better every fight. And I'm I'm walking with you. I can't wait to see you back. So take some time off now. You'll be back in the gym, like I guess, like May or June. No, I'm, I mean, I'm get back in the gym probably, probably tomorrow. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I I just, you know, I just got to, I'm going to take some time and, you know, just chill with the family and all that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, fall back, have a little fun, but not too much fun, you know. And, uh, yeah. And, you know, keep trying to get great names and uh, play the best fighter. So what you do for fun when you're not, um, not in the gym? What you like to do? Um, well, I'm not in the gym. I uh, be playing basketball. Uh, you got game? I'm all right. I ain't like how I used to be. I'm, I'm okay. all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. So you play ball? Okay. Yeah, I didn't play ball, but I play basketball, you know, shoot pool. Nice. Go, ball, go bowling with the fam, top golf, you know, just, I just chill, have fun. Are you like top, is it top golf in Philly? Dope. No, I just won in right. Jersey. Oh, Edison, you come to that one? No, I think it's, where is, where is, oh, it might be Edison. I'm not sure. Is that cost from that BJ's? Yeah. Yeah. It might be here. That's what I used to live across the street from there. Yeah, talk about being nice. Yep, right in them co- that complex over there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's Definitely. up. Okay, well. Yeah. I'm excited to see you back. I can't wait. Hopefully it'll be like July, August. Yeah, it should be like July, August. And uh, you know, I'm I like, think it's gonna be a big name too. Oh no, there it's it's Mount Laurel. Yeah. That's huh? what it is. Mount Laurel. Oh, okay. Oh, that's South Jersey. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. 